Once we've purchased our document or started the document, what's going to load is called the iframe. Now the iframe is what is, what is powered by Hot Docs, which is probably the largest and the fastest document assembly engine in the world. So it enables some really complex automations, which we'll get to, um, really easy integrations with other uh, websites and other platforms, other applications, and it also really speeds up um, the uh, joining together of different documents to make strategies packs and things like that, but we'll get to that down the track uh, Once it's loaded up, it's going to basically uh, load up exactly like this for all the documents down the left hand side here We have our interview outline So this is basically an interview tree and as we answer different questions This is going to expand in, uh, in various ways depending on what we answer. So this is the standard outline down here um, if something does have a red star next to it anyway, it is a compulsory question. Generally, most of the questions are compulsory to answer, meaning if they're not answered, your document will look a little bit strange. Um, but the ones that are, uh, we don't let you pass until you answer them because they will depend on the rest of the questions that are asked to you. So the first page of all of our documents is generally the same. It's going to give us a few instructions and it's going to ask us also to set up our document. So what do we want to name our document? So when we uh, created our client folder or we uh, located the folder that we wanted to save this document into, we now have the option of saving this document as a particular name. So I could call it uh, J Smith. 2020 pension payment, whatever I want to call it, that is, I can identify that within that client folder. If I have set up document branding, which is available to all of our licensed users, um, I can I would have a code that I put in here. If you do want to be set up for a logo, you can uh, email us um, about that process. There is an additional cost for our pay as you go users. If we want to use the Abbott and Morley, being the law firm that signs off on that, I, if I just input the code AM001, that will give us that law firm code, uh, law firm logo on the front page. To navigate through the iframe, we're simply pressing next on each page. We can press previous, we can jump forward. Um, generally, the only buttons you need to be really using are next and then the finish button at the end um, because we can also jump around our interview tree up here as well if we want to go back and check things. A couple of other things I'll point out is this save answers button, which is really important that you do that as you go through the interview. Uh, just make sure that all, all of the answers are saved to your answer files. Um, and if you need to walk away from your document or if you want to relaunch it up, um, so, sorry, close it and then come back and finalize it later, it just makes sure that all of the answers are saved to your My In Progress folder. Uh, we also have a document preview button so you can press this at any time um, and your, a, a preview of the document will appear. It'll look a little bit different, some of the headings might be a little bit squished but it will give you an idea. Um, if you haven't answered something you'll see some code come up and you can preview the document through here. Uh, we have um, an answer summary box as well. So these are the, all of the questions that the interview is going to ask me. So if I want to make sure I've got everything before I keep going I can uh, click on the answer file. Uh, button here answer summary button and this is everything that's going to be asked of me so I can just make sure I've got all of those details with me and then I have a help button as well um, so back to the interview I have a help button that is just some basic uh, tricks of using the iframe and uh, using the first the next and the last buttons and stuff as well uh, we do have a resources panel um, I'll show you that in a minute as well but you can actually in your document preview um, you can't print from a document preview, um, but you can print from the answer summary. So if you want to print this out and go through it with a client before you do the document, you can do that as well. So back into the interview, we're simply just asking the questions as they're asked of us. So what is the fund name, um, the fund, name of the member, John Smith, um, what date would the member be making this application to the trustee of the fund? So this is the account based pension, current year pension payment. So obviously, all of the documents are going to have different questions asked. So uh, for dates in particular, if you don't know them, you can leave them blank. Uh, it's asking for a date of birth for this one, age of the member, account-based pension balance um, is calculated my pension uh, minimum payment. But the idea of this, uh, it works the same way in terms of answering all the questions um, before and then pressing next before I assemble my document. So I will run through this really quickly answering the questions the way it has asked of me. Um, different sorts of questions are answered. I've got text boxes, I've got multiple choice, um, all different ones. 
uh, trustee meeting date. I can leave that blank as well. Who attended the meeting with the addresses um, there'll often be a select button and if I press this button it will come up with previous addresses that I've put in I can press select and that will automatically fill that for me pressing next whenever you see this signers page basically this is going to tell you who needs to sign the document um, it also signals to you it is the last page of the interview so whenever you see this you should think okay this is the final page you can then jump back through the interview, double check everything has been filled out, change any answers that need to be. Um, the best place to save it is here. So clicking on save, watching that one load. And then also if I uh, don't want to finalize it yet, which is very important for company interviews, because uh, the second you set up a company, it's gonna to go to ASIC. So if you press finish and you haven't checked it, um, it's gonna be very hard to fix any errors. So a good place to go through your document preview before you press finish. And you can see all the answers have come through. It doesn't look like that when the document downloads, it's just in the preview, uh, the headings of the images muck up a little bit. Once we're happy with our interview, all we're doing is press the finishing button, finish button down here, waiting for the answers to process and up will come next is my document uh, or my pack of documents if I've done a strategy automation to download. So all of our documents come in PDF, simply clicking a download, clicking on the document that appears and there's the finished document for me. At the same time, that's also been sent into my vault, which we'll look at in one of our other quick guides.